Alright, so we have some issues today. Uh, as you can see, this computer does not want to boot because it's stuck at uh, auto detecting ASCI port number one. We have some issues uh, with this uh, computer. I mean, the hard drive is in good condition, but the computer doesn't like it. So let's fix it. So if you have some issues, you can uh, follow this uh, tutorial. So I'm going, uh, I mean, you can try another hard drive at this time by putting, you know, another hard drive laying around like uh, this uh, Seagate 500 uh, gigs momentous fin or some SSD or whatever you have you at your hand and uh, try to see if the hard drive it's being recognized by uh, your computer but if it doesn't then you have a problem with uh, your uh, storage controller if uh, the hard drive is uh, recognized then you have partition issues with uh, that uh, problematic hard drive or maybe your hard drive is faulty or if you don't have uh, another computer to test the, the suspecting hard drive well you can try to configure one setting in BIOS but uh, right now you can't even access the BIOS as you can see the system responds to the button to enter the, the Sera but doesn't do anything or F8 to execute the boot selection pop-up or whatever if I can launch the easy flash doesn't want to execute so what we are going to do is to disconnect the hard drive so that's the computer that we have some issues today so first things first we need to turn off the computer because we can't work while the computer is functioning you can cause some serious harm to the components yeah so i'm going to take out the the side panel and we are going to disconnect the hard drive so you can disconnect the communicating uh, cable between the, the hard drive and the motherboard that will not uh, you know detect but uh, I'm going to disconnect the power cable alright so yeah the hard drive has been disconnected even the the data cable is connected it's not gonna to recognize anything so after you disconnected the hard drive from your system you need to boot up to BIOS setup screen by pressing F2 delete key or del key or F8 F10 what's your uh, secret uh, key to access the BIOS on your computer or laptop so oh we have some issues but who cares then you need to go to uh, SATA settings or something like that but mine is on the main uh, screen so I can change it right there and then we need to configure the SATA as uh, IDE mode basically it just uh, emulates like uh, you know IDE hard drives but it's on SATA and uh, works a bit differently than ASCI or if you don't have on main uh, screen uh, you can take a look at advanced or boot or whatever to see if uh, your BIOS has uh, SATA uh, settings or storage settings so after you have configured as IDE mode uh, you can exit and save by pressing the F10 or you can go to exit page and then exit and save changes and now you can connect your hard drive 
but I will go ahead to do while the computer is posting because I can and there you go the hard drive is connected but you need to reformat the hard drive to detect on HCI mode correctly so I'm going to reformat the hard drive and so I'm going to boot uh, to a Windows um, setup disk whatever the Windows and then reformat the hard drive but uh, not kind of reformatting when you're reinstalling the windows no no I'm going to show you something different alright so the windows setup disk has been loaded and you need to configure your uh, language and keyboard type right and then uh, press a uh, key combination shift and F10 to show a command prompt and you need to type a uh, disk part it's a disk uh, partitioning tool by Microsoft to repartition your hard drive or solid state drives whatever so you need to type list this to show some drives detected in the system and there you go we have the disk zero is the hard drive because uh, we have 74 gigs I mean 80 gigs but in the operating system shows that and disk one is the stick which I'm booting from you need to select the hard drive to format I mean the questionable hard drive and there you go by uh, cell disk or select disk 0 and clean now before you are erasing that hard drive you should really back up right now uh, onto another hard drive or at least uh, image that hard drive using some cloning software for example clonezilla or make room reflect or whatever the software you are using to do this process to avoid losing important data if you have some irreplaceable important files to clean everything or to erase everything and if we type list disk once again we have free 74 gigs it means uh, the hard drive is erased but uh, there you go but then you can reboot your computer and uh, change it back to HCI mode to see if the hard drive still detects in HCI mode and there you go so the hard drive is being recognized in a HCI mode so the problem is the partitions uh, that have been messed up or something or the disk geometry is wrong for this hard drive when you do the crowning with some software so from there you can reinstall your operating system and do whatever you want after this uh, problem is solved so that's really about this uh, tutorial I will see you next time